I'm Peter Dalmani. I'm from Timmins, Ontario. I'm a crane operator by trade. And once a year, I gather with a few friends and we go up moose hunting up at my camp in Timmins. I was uh, introduced to uh, hunting and fishing by a friend of the family. My father was never much of an outdoorsman. And uh, by the time I was 16, I had taken it up upon myself to start going out in the bush and met up with a guy that was uh, a little older than me and he started teaching me about the outdoors and hunting and fishing and I've been hooked on it pretty much ever since. Pierre and Billy and I go way back. We uh, met each other pretty much around 20 years ago, I guess, at the trap club. We started shooting trap together. We belonged to the same search and rescue group, so basically a hunting relationship developed that went into uh, duck hunts and grouse hunts and eventually moose and deer hunts. We see a lot of each other throughout the year. Very good friends, for sure. Woke up to uh, rain in the morning. Pretty much rain all night. Storm front rolled in. We were expecting 30 to 50 millimeters of rain. We decided not to uh, sit out in the tree stands that morning. Took off in the pickup truck. Just basically did some scouting. Had a look around to see uh, what was moving. Pretty much the only thing moving that day was us because uh, the animals sure weren't. They were hunkered down pretty tight. I'm thinking that poplar ridge would be nice to hunt one day. Winds were up. I know that the moose don't really enjoy the the wind because it uh, you know knocks off their senses, their hearing, so and a sense of smell too. Makes the hunt a little tougher, for sure. We happened to come upon a, a grouse that uh, looked half drowned, flew up into a tree and uh, went out after it. So we were fortunate we uh, managed to get at least one gross that day. We went and checked out a couple different places and then we decided we were going to go to a spot that we've seen moose previously, see if we could uh, find it. There was uh, very little sign actually. There was more sign of hunters than there was actual moose. The rain had pretty much washed away any uh, sign that uh, you know wasn't immediately fresh. So I pretty much wrapped up day one. We decided that on day two, we'd uh, go to a spot that I've been keeping an eye on.
So we walked in, set up, and the other guys all headed up around the uh, surrounding the area. There was some fresh sign. It was good that way. Sat uh, just basically on the side of a road. Well, it's more of a bush road, uh, a skitter road actually. Managed to uh, get a little hunt together that morning. The morning hunt was successful only because we were able to locate some fresh sign. Well, after the morning hunt, came back for lunch at the camp and uh, uh, sat down, drew a little map, and formulated a plan of uh, where we're going to set up our ground blinds and you know, who was going to go where during the evening. So um, I went with Bill, uh, give him a hand, set up his uh, ground blind, while uh, Peter uh, set up my ground blind. I attempted to uh, put up a tarp over the uh, tree stand to make sure it was prepped up and ready to go for the evening hunt. That failed miserably because of the high winds that night. I met him there and we scouted around uh, the tree stand, that area, for uh, any sign because we didn't hunt there in the morning. Let's 
I've never sat in a tree stand in that kind of weather. Normally, it, just, it would have worked fine, but uh, the high winds, you couldn't hear a thing with the uh, flapping of the tarp, so that ended up having to come down. Honestly, got to be something wrong in your head to want to come out and stand in this kind of weather waiting for the elusive calf. <laughs> Day two of pouring rain. It's been interesting, to say the least. Now we have gale force winds to go with it. Even better. Feed the need. It was uh, just getting dark and came down out of the tree stand maybe three, four minutes before uh, legal. And just as I had got down out of the tree stand, maybe a minute later, I heard a shot. Totally surprising when I called him on the radio. And he said, uh, don't move, I want to talk to you. Oh, no, that was you that shot? Yeah. <laughs> oh, bit. congrats, bud. Way to go. <laughs> Way to go. Anyways, I, I get up. I get up. I start to, to, to get my, my stuff together to, to leave. And I look behind me, and there's a cow right on the road. I'd say 50 yards away from me. Shit. And then all of a sudden, I see another moose come out. <laughs> but uh, no, I don't want. I want to make sure. Eh? Like, yeah, I could have shot it right on the road. And then she started going ahead, and she stopped again, staring at my ground blind. The little buddy comes out, stops right at her ass. Well, there's her ass, and there's his head. <laughs> so I know now. There's no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> Look at my watch. Seven oh two. Oh, great. Six minutes. We were walking out from our blind. Uh -huh. We were just get we just gotten down and started to walk. <sighs> so right anyway, on. she uh, I could hear her bark in there, yep. and well, she wasn't barking at the end there. It was more like a wailing, more like a okay. so, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's probably down, and we just got to get over there now and <laughs> try and find it. I know it is black tonight. 
It is going to be lots of lights. Well, an evening shot is always going to be a fun recovery. Right away, I knew we were in for a real treat that evening. It was basically uh, formulated another plan to get in there in the dark and uh, go looking for a, a calf in this cut. Quite overgrown. I knew exactly where he had shot. I, I knew where the animal had headed, and I knew what we were going to be up against. It was going to be quite challenging to find that thing in the dark. Every little bit's been helping. Yeah. The fun begins. The search ended up uh, being unsuccessful that evening. Put in a little bit of time, probably spent an hour or more. Became very dangerous as far as I was concerned, and I didn't really like the idea of us poking around there in the dark with a cow in the background, possibly. There was a lot of trip and fall hazards. Yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't the best of conditions, tight bush. So, yeah, I knew it was going to be a little sketchy. We had to call off the uh, search for the calf that night. There was mixed feelings in the morning, for sure. I mean, uh, we had left an animal in the bush overnight. That's always a little scary. Temperatures were fairly cool, so not too, too bad. Not too concerned about the meat spoiling. But still, you've left an animal in the bush overnight, and that in itself is, you know, disheartening because you haven't really completed the hunt until, you know, the game is recovered. So we were looking forward to getting out there this morning. We waited till there was enough light, and, uh, you know, basically we needed to finish the job. We uh, went in and did a couple of grid lines uh, off of uh, some skitter trails. There's calf shit there. I guess we were in there for about an hour when uh, Billy come upon the, uh, the calf. Holy f Hey boys. All right, Billy. Way to go, Billy. Right here, man. <laughs> nice. A good eye. Good eye. Right good on. Man, oh, I was getting less and less optimistic there. Oh, right go, on. <laughs> right on. Nice. Nice. <laughs> right Way to go, buddy. Good <laughs> job, Billy. Here, man. Way to go, buddy. <laughs> we would have never found that last night. No so way. there was. Uh, much jubilation, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. It was exciting to see, you know, the uh, fruits of your labor. So, yeah, it was very nice. All right. Oh, good, 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 good. Good bloated. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I don't have my glasses either. Uh, if you hold it far enough away, I'll reach out and cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your hand? Yeah. You have fat fingers. I don't want to cut them off. That would hurt. 
15. Yeah. 7 p.m. Yeah, look at that. The last freaking. Yeah, like they knew. <laughs> I think it was last two. chance. <laughs> This seal must be attached in the case of a calf moose to its lower jaw, which shall be left whole. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Where the hell would you attach that? Yeah, right up there. Right through. Almost have to take the skin off. There you go. You know, I think I'll take the sticker off after. Yeah, I would. Because otherwise, better, right? yeah. almost better off to use the wires. Stuck together. It's like a science. There we go. It's on there. There. I think that's good. Well, it won't get any tighter. Nope. It was a pretty much an easy get. We drive the bike down in through, clean a trail down to it, and hook it up to the bike and drag it out. And it was pretty much that easy. This was one of the easier ones we've had. Yeah, once we got the head up a little higher, eh? Yeah. You always have doubt in your mind as to, you know, especially when the weather shuts you down, how things are going to go. Are you going to be successful? And like I say, for me, it's not about putting the meat on the table. It's about getting out and having a good time, enjoying yourself, and, uh, the boys and having a few laughs and, you know, good meals. And it was really nice to see that, uh, you know, the God played in, uh, the cards in our favor and we were able to uh, take an animal, you know? Like for us, that's, that's like icing on the cake for us. We're not meat hunters by any stretch. To be able to have the whole week uh, throw crappy weather at us and persevere through that and have something at the end of it, well, I mean, what more can a person ask for? Well, guys. Cheers. To the hunt. Cheers. To the hunt. Hey. To the hunt. Right on. And congratulations, Pierre. Good shoot, buddy. Thank you. Good Tonight shoot, we Pierre. feast. <laughs>